cabeça. All right, there we go. <laughs> I'm like, man, I thought I was doing it, doing it, and doing it well. Listen, it's your boy, Maddie Rance. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Do me a favor, hit that like button, share, and subscribe. Become a part of this Rant Pack family. We are going into just a hot topic kind of day, not really basing it off of certain TV shows, even though we will talk about some new shows that are coming out because I just got some hot tea about a show called The Goat. And one of our Drag Race alumni, Alyssa Edwards, is going to be on there as well with other folks that I'm a big fan of from reality television. So I'm here for it. I said, oh, we got enough. That's May. I said, that's around the corner. We got a show that I feel like covering because apparently the drama is going to be hot for uh, $200,000. Also, with this being a hot topic day, you already know me when it comes to a live I very much go off into different tangents. I talk about my own personal life. I incorporate other things. And because it's alive, you are also a part of this conversation. So if you came here today for a 10-minute run-through, this is not the room for you. This You were in the wrong classroom. This is 247, okay? You have to go down the hall to 321. That's where you were trying to go. That's that's the quick class. You, you walk in with your Scantron. You got your pencil. Blah, you finish, fail, whatever. <laughs> but over here, we have a good time. We'd like to talk. We'd like to get into it. So I'm excited. We're going to talk about that. We're we going to talk about Diddy. We're going to talk about Diddums. Uh, I'm going to use uh, different. I'm just going to have to taper down on the language today as far as what I can discuss on YouTube based on the terms of service. So if you're like, Matt, you're not saying all of it. You're not going to gaslight me into getting this into a limited monetized video like I've already been going through. They just monetize the panel. So trust and believe I will use the pro I'll, I'll use the right terms, but you'll understand where I'm coming from as far as what's going on with that. Todrick Hall got on live the other day and discussed uh, wanting to either sell or rent his home. Uh, and he's having a little trouble doing that. And there's some things going on, which I feel bad for. But then also brought up that somebody has been at his home and is taking advantage of him, which if all of us are very aware of the Todrick Hall house and how that operates in reality TV world, Big Brother people normally are at that home. And one in particular is being sort of, I guess, brought up Kind of, but uh, we'll, we'll talk about the person we think he's discussing and uh, what Todrick had said and also people feeling a ways because he's asking for help and he had a Cartier wrist, uh, you know, uh, wristband on and all that money. So it was like, oof, this is a lot, uh, but we'll get into it. I'm going to try my best to be as fair as possible with how I discuss uh, Todrick's situ situation so as not to come off biased, but to sort of give what information we've taken from that live, as well as what we are possibly thinking, who we're thinking is the person he's discussing and all that other good stuff. And yeah, how people felt about that video after he did it. Also, because this is Hot Topics Day, Euphoria season three may not be. We'll, we'll get into that. Jurassic World is coming back. I don't know why. And they're hiring, hire, not hiring. Oh, Boulder's Gate on my mind. They're hiring Scarlett Johansson. Oh, I'm already out. <laughs> we'll get into that. Three more days to Cowboy Carter. It is this kind of day. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're feeling blessed. I hope you're not stressed. I know yesterday was a very tough one for me. Even this morning, it's been a little bit weird. I feel like Dooley put that Mercury retrograde. Libras are about to get hit hard on me, and I let it. Re I received it a little too deep. Uh, so I've been trying to pull his spell off of me currently, <laughs> currently right now. But um, yes, it's also nine days till my vacation. And as you already um, 
understand, as you already know, uh, I will be gone from the 4th through the 8th. I'll be back on the 9th of uh, April to discuss uh, Season 16 live with you, and I will make sure that will already be set up to go that Monday. So be prepared for that. But that Thursday through that Sunday, excuse me, Thursday through the Monday, mm -mm. <laughs> it's not gonna it's not gonna be me i won't be here i need a break i need a vacation i've already discussed that i've been feeling the burnout yes i do tan with my light skin self i understand yes i do so i will be very much trying to be out in the sun as much as possible uh i will be in miami getting my life and hopefully uh if i see some people out there you know say hi say hi because i know i don't go to Miami like that. I was, I, last time I was out there was seven years ago. So <laughs> um, I am excited for my trip with my friends. I'm not going by myself. I'm going with the big group. So uh, it should be a good time. We got everything set up already. I paid my last deposit, my last deposit, honey. So I don't have to pay any more anything when it comes to this trip. And the last deposit was for the yacht ride that we're doing like at sunset, which is going to be really, really pretty. Does everybody have a humming sound or is that just you, DW? Because I haven't seen anybody else say anything. Are we having issues? Hold on, let me see. Here. I have to stop my entire flow. Make sure this sounds interesting. Let me listen to it on my end. Through your channel, Matthew, this is how we do it. And then we. Okay, let's see if I hear it again as I got this on my mic. This is how we sing a song. All right, we fixed it. We fixed it. That's how we do it. We fixed it. Fixed it. All right. <laughs> oh my gosh. Y'all have seen how I normally operate when I feel stressed. <laughs> I have to sing the song about the thing I'm doing. I have to keep on doing it now. If I d stop singing, I'm going to lose my grip and start going in. Ah, ah. All right, let's get my social medias out the way and get the show started. Also, uh, Mamu and Mina are prancing around right now. The stray cats today were very bold with me. Uh, baby, like, walked me. Uh, to my Uber to the grocery store today. I was like, girl. Uh, so I had to set some boundaries because one of them came over here and was doing a little too much. And then I found out that cats are in heat around this time. So I'm like, oh, this explains why Mamu has been very much in a hunch mode with Nina. Like right now, hey, Bubby, we talked about this. Mama doesn't want none of that. Boom. Come on. Come on, baby. Don't make me come over there, please. All right, Mina, you stay a good lady, okay? You're supposed to be daddy's girl. Christian, Christian woman. Hanchen, I'm getting sick of it. Y'all don't understand. It's like happened, it like just recently started going down. Mamu is fixed and so is Mina. So that's why I'm like, what is happening? Like, what is happening? Please stop. <laughs> like, please stop. <laughs> Is that normal? I don't know what's going on. <laughs> oh my God. He just likes to get, he'll like nip her in the back and then get on top and then he'll just sit there. And I'm like, okay, so you're finished? Like, what's going on? Like, please leave her alone. And then she'd be like, every time he do it, she's like, uh, ah, I don't want that. I'm like, no, she knows what's up. Mm -mm. Really? When I had a cat previously, I only had one cat. So I never had the two. This is my first time with two babies, okay? Um, well, I no, I use Bubby, that one girl. I know it's for grandmother, but I'm not saying it as a Yiddish saying. So that's why it doesn't apply for me. I use Bubby based off of that show, Flapjack, 
that was on Cartoon Network and Flapjack with that whale whose name was Bubby. And that's where that comes from. So it's my term in, of endearment for Mamu because like, I love Bubby on that show. She was the, my favorite thing about that show. And like, whenever I'm like cuddling up with Mamu that Bubby Wubs comes up. So yeah, but oh, that's cool. But yeah, that's not at all where that's coming from. I'm not calling my child grandmother. All right, let's go ahead and get my socials out the way. <laughs> all that kind of stuff uh and get this started today it's at metarance everywhere except for i want to call it twitter why are we calling it x at the maddie rants over there you can uh <laughs> god that's dumb you can find all that in the link tree link in the about section of my youtube i also do patreon reactions for as low as one dollar a month and i'm bookable on cameo i did a request today shout out to leviathan i hope you had a good birthday and also merch available at dragqueenmerch.com Ooh, i really should have started this off with our famous disclaimer because this is very important as what we're talking about today is definitely for entertainment purposes only this program itself is for entertainment purposes only and none of this content all of it and content is not intended to blind religion race gender company individual or wigs and all opinions expressed by myself are solely my personal views and do not reflect the opinions of a human being on the planet and no hate should be sent to any of the shows or individuals mentioned on this program so please don't be rude and of course grab your libations and strap in because i am a talker and may be here for a while but don't Post any spoilers in the chat if you know anything. And if you feel uncomfortable after viewing this program, it's not my concern. I, God bless. Okay. I don't, I had like, like, I got a random lock on my account the other day over a video that wasn't even a video. It was a reaction that I had posted very, very, very long ago. It's almost what really pissed me off is that I couldn't even see what it was specifically, but I had an idea. It was like me reacting to something um, from season two uh, on my couch. And I had to like go through this whole like whatever to get it back. But afterwards, I'm thinking to myself, I'm looking at people's pages that I actually follow who legit post the entirety of clips online. This is crazy. <laughs> and it really PO'd me because I'm like, what is that for? Like, what, what was that for, for For what? And it's funny because I did recently report some people on Twitter for being racist. And then all of a sudden that happened. And I said, oh, is me trying to call out BS online an issue to where now y'all are digging into my stuff to find things? Because they're like, well, it's this company that said, I'm like, girl, from five years ago. That shit was weird. I didn't like that. I was like, I don't know what that was, but um, I didn't appreciate it because it felt like, oh, let me just stop playing in this app because I know uh, the person who runs it has a different agenda with how they feel. So it is what it is. Um, all right. If you want to drop a tippy poo in my jar, I am nine days away from my vacation and anything and everything most certainly helps. Also going towards the cat food fun because... I am no longer a four pound bag of food girl. I have to get these babies the seven pounder because they eat, 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 eat. But I love it because my babies are big, healthy children. <laughs> uh, it's at Matter. Oh, whoa. PayPal.me for slash Matter Rants, Cash Up, Simon Rants, and Vim and Rants. Thanks so much again for being here today. Love y'all down. Give yourselves a big hug for me because I know like sometimes we need a little physical like affection that lets us know that somebody is there. I often feel that I'm by myself all the time. So believe me when I say I get it. Trust and believe. All right. Let's get this started today. Why is one of the Funko boxes out? Oh no, Miss Thing. One minute, please. Why is Stanley Hudson on the ground? Why Why is Stanley Hudson on the ground? Of all of the Funkos you had to pull out from the, Stanley, are you okay? Why is Stanley on the ground, Nina? All right, I'm gonna let y'all go. That's fine, y'all do what you gotta do. Here you go, here you go. There goes the mouse. Mamu, watch yourself. I'm just saying, mom, watch yourself. Cause like Diddy, all that, you you give it it 
Don't bring that energy in my home, okay? That man tried to change his name to love, and now he over here fleeing from the feds and got his kids arrested. Ooh, well, here we go. I guess we need to go ahead and start with the show, because baby. <laughs> baby. All right. As you know, once again, this is for entertainment purposes, so I am going to be cacking and keying over a few of these things, but I do not wish any ill will or malice towards anybody involved in whatever I'm talking about. I'm also going to use wording and terminology that will be a little bit deciphered, dissected. There we go. So that way I don't get in trouble, and YouTube knows that I'm on the terms of services. Okay, cool. All right. That's a lovely home. Well, the feds were there yesterday, Homeland Security, if you will, and they were at both homes, Miami and Los Angeles. Isn't it funny after we find out that Trump's entire, like the 450 something million dollars that they owed was then dropped down to a very much lower number at 170 something, 5 million, not totally true, but it's close to that amount. Yes. And then his children went online. And then we're asking for money because they said that, oh, we're not being sponsored like the like the Democrats are. And I'm over here like, but you do have, oh, okay, wait, what? But you do have sponsors though, but you're asking them too, which that's fine, but like, but you do. And it's almost like, are you asking for them to pay that bill? That happened yesterday. Do you understand me? All of a sudden the Diddy thing drops and I'm like, Yo, this is a weird news day. We were all focused on that. And then boom, erased. I said, something ain't, something's amiss. Something's amiss. But this is still tea. I ain't forgot about you, Donnie. I ain't never going to. But baby, when I say whoever was in charge of the media news and how that went down yesterday, that was a Caucasian blessing for you. And you know it was. You know it was. Girl, we were dragging your ass and then trying to figure out what was going on. Oh, we were getting the government's business. It was very like, how y'all going to lower that down? And then all of a sudden, whoop, diddy. That's what happened yesterday. Hate to tell you. Love to tell you. That's literally how that went down for news the other day. And it's funny because I am, you know, doing drag race and all that kind of stuff. And I'm also a person who is very much into CNN, you know, uh, reading articles that pop up on my, you know, phone app for news and then going through certain people on Twitter. Not everybody is a reliable news source, but I go through the folks that are normally accredited or at least have some said information. And then you sort of just pull it all together. And I thought to myself, this year is going to be nuts. This year is going to be nuts. We're gonna see our, we're gonna see a lot of news drop and then just disappear over something else that's gonna be. I, I just I need you to pay attention because I was like, wow, this is crazy. Mind you, the Diddy thing happened in, in the middle of the night. What we're gonna get to Baltimore? God bless those people. I'm like, what is going on right now? You know I'm a, you know I'm a Christian children don't you get me into my uh, apoc apocalypse oh, oh. I'm going mm, mm this is getting strange please start to pay attention cuz um uh, like they said this some people were discussing how this is going to be the year of like people like getting their dues and it's like ooh okay <laughs> <laughs> Maddie, are you doing the news now? I mean, do y'all want me to start doing weekly like news run throughs of stuff and just give you sort of like an entertaining version of what we're discussing from that way? Because I can. Y'all know I'm always here for content. Baby got to feed these kids now. What you mean? <laughs> well, I mean, hell, it's an election year too. So low key, we're going to have a lot to talk about. Um, Juan, thank you for the same people on Venmo for your kitties and your vacay fun. Thank you. I appreciate you so much, Juan. Love you down. Appreciate, appreciate you. Appreciate you. I hear a lot of yeses, so that may just be what it is. I will make sure to keep my ear to the ground and my eyes to the sky. And I like that. I mean, low key, I did go to school for broadcast journalism. So and your boy was on TMZ giving commentary on our, you know, with Harvey in the up. Uh, I mean. 
Check my resume. <laughs> Check my resume. <laughs> Check my resume. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's get into this. Like I said, Miami, Los Angeles, both rated. What's really sad about the situation because this is over. I can't say the first word. I can say traffic. Add an ing. You know where we're going with this, and this also relates to Cassie's big case. If y'all remembered, where she called out Diddy for a lot of things. I also can't say on here on YouTube, but you are aware of those things, and you can Google this and say Cassie Diddy case. Boom, you're welcome. It's going to give you a whirlwind of a lot, and there was a lot of things that were on the docket when it came to that situation. So they settled out of court. They settled. Done. So we were like, oh, that was quick. It was like 24 hour turnaround, maybe 48 hours. They settled it. And it was like, hmm, interesting. But to me, that was the beginning of what was about to happen. That that literally was the oh, that was the first key in the door. And it may honestly have been the only key necessary to start this up. Because how many months later did that like we got to this situation? And I'm talking about quickly Homeland Security over those accusations, allegedly this, that, and the other. Mind you, just because Cassie had her own case here, I'm not really going to say this was Cassie's doing from the beginning or the start. We don't know yet where that first whistle was blown for this to happen on this said day. Also, Diddy wasn't at any of these homes. Apparently, on his own private jet, is now, what is that, Cape Verde? I said, hold on, three to four months? Okay, so this was very quick. Mind you, Russell Simmons was just recently sent um, a Simmons, a, a Simmons, <laughs> Russell Simmons was sent a summons recently out in Bali over defamation of like, yes, that that's also recent news, by the way, look that up. Mm-hmm which a lot of people are connecting, they, you know, Russell and Diddy, and they're also trying to bring in other folks that believe that also would have connections to Diddy, like powerful rappers, this and the other when it comes to the situation. So this is like floodgate. This is, this is big, 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 big. People are ready to attach certain rappers. I won't say one in particular's name because I don't think they were in it like that. Like people want them to be. I think people were aware of stuff but people weren't saying anything, which is just as horrible. But I don't think that every single person that was a part of this equation, like everybody wants them to be, is. But again, I'm also waiting for the news and for whatever beans are going to be spilled and whoever's going to take whatever, whatever, whatever. Also, for the girls that believe in the uh, Illuminati powers that be, who is to say that he might not walk away from this? You never know. Could this, you know, the girls talk about sacrifices, mama. I I mean, there are a lot of people that were attached to Diddy that we know are not really in the celebrity game anymore. And we know a lot of people who have gone into completely different routes of what's going on when it comes to Hollywood. We also are aware of that one show that currently just got another episode. Ow! Quiet on the set. Diddy, I'm going to take put. I'm going to put you away for just a second. I'm going to get back to you, brother. Quiet on the set, which is on HBO Max right now, or Max for the girls that know they did that revamp for some odd reason. But um, it's a documentary limited series that's on there about certain days on Nickelodeon with Dan Schneider, who was a uh, director and producer and writer and also had a lot of pool at Nickelodeon. And there were certain things that were happening on said sets for shows like the Amanda Bynes show, uh, all that, uh, and so much, you know, iCarly, this, that, and the other, and including people who were working there that definitely should not have been working there with Nickelodeon. There you go. Apparently, there's going to be a new episode dropping on April 7th that just dropped today in the news department. Shout out to Pop Cray for that. I was gagged. But apparently, there's other interviews that they didn't include that they're actually going to put into another segment and make – because they, apparently they had enough footage to do so, which is great. So I'm like, oh, my God, we're going to get more tea? We're going to get more tea. <laughs> 
As you know, Amanda Bynes is a part of that conversation, but she has declined to do an interview with the people for Quiet On Set, which I really hate. Honestly, I would have loved to hear her feelings and or opinions on said situation, but I also want the best for her because Amanda did have a little bit of a breaking point and y'all know mama was under a conservatorship, which we understand in Hollywood terms means I have all your money. Now we used you. Ha ha ha. We're taking advantage of you. That <laughs> in my personal opinion, I think some people may need it possibly for other issues, but I find a lot of the stories we find with the conservatorships to be sort of like, y'all kind of took advantage of this person. And now that you've put them in a certain state where they can't honestly defend or talk for themselves and you're doing things behind their back, you're literally using them. I asked for no hunching. Mamu for Chan. That's right, bub. You, you relax. Hey everyone, thank you so much for tuning in. Do me a favor, hit that like button, share and subscribe and become a part of this Rant Pack family. It's a news day today, but more so a hot topic day of entertainment proportions because as a reminder, this show, this program is for entertainment purposes only. And I ask that you not send any hate or any ill will or anything in reference to the people that we're talking about today and or shows that we do discuss. Love you down. Appreciate you for being here. If you want to drop a tippy poo in my jar, get me into the Milo vacation fund. PayPal.me for slash my rants, cash up those my rants. Venmo, my dash rants. Mina, do not knock down that mirror or we're going to have a problem, Miss Girl. I guess I'm looking at you. Love you. All right. Back to the house that Diddy uh, destroyed here. I know that's not my girl, Miss Taylor. Hey, friend. <laughs> hey, Taypo. <laughs> Y'all give it up for the queen. I'm still mad about Ranger Games, mama. I'm not going to lie. I love you. You know I was rude for you, sister. I'm still mad. You were so close. I screamed. <laughs> I was <so> psyched. <sorry. sighs> But you played a good game, girl. Love you down. Y'all give Taylor some love. Love her. All right. Babies, please. We, we got a program going on here. Okay. Now. Can you imagine? Okay. I feel. All right. Here's some tea. One of the houses is like in his child's name. And it's one of his daughters. But apparently she is not of age to be considered an adult right now. So it's possible that she can not be charged in this case because let's say she is an adult and can be charged in reference for this because of all the things that were happening allegedly in said household. Yeah, yeah. Like that, that's heavy. I said, oh my God, you going, you could have put this child because let's say it, they waited a year till she was like 18 or 19 for that to have happened. But mind you, his children were like detained or whatnot, and it's it's a mess. And I know I don't know if that was his intentions to have already been tipped off and have basically fled and let his children take the rap or whatever. I, I I'm not sure if he just had to do it so quickly and couldn't tell nobody or call them. Or, we don't know what happened. Do you know what I mean? Um, but it is a sad situation, okay? Like, even for whatever, those people are horrible. I'm just referring to the children involved. And this is of your father's doing that you are now being detained. Like, that was crazy. You know what I'm saying? To let your kids take that and be embarrassed with these cameras and all of that. Come on now. Come on now, Daddams. Come on now. TMZ said he didn't know. See, that's the thing, though. It's like, if he didn't know, then how was he able to get where he was so quickly once the whole situation went down? Even with the raid happening here, you know, people would have been probably following him in a situation like this to where they knew where his whereabouts were. That's why I'm like, I don't know about the he didn't know part. I don't know about that. That's why I'm on my alleged shit right now. I'm like, mm, I hear you, but. It's like he 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 made it a little fast, didn't he? He made it a little far, didn't he? Mm -hmm. Okay, so new tea did drop now, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, hit you up with some more facts, babe, because I'm almost like, girl, there's too much going on right now, bitch. Um, 
Mind you, on December 6th, uh, 2023, Diddy has a pinned post to his uh, ex account. It's enough is enough. For the last couple of weeks, I've sat silently and watched people try to assassinate my character, destroy my reputation and my legacy. Sickening allegations have been made against me by individuals looking for a quick payday. Let me be absolutely clear. I did not do any of the awful things being alleged. I will fight for my name, my family, and for my truth. Sean Diddy Combs, who not too long ago before that, just did a whole, my name is love. I'm doing a love album. It's all about love. It's this, that, and the other. A whole rebrand again after changing his name for the umpteenth time. The Cassie thing happened. Quickly solved. December 6th, all the way to March 25th, which was yesterday, a Monday news story. Oh, Diddy, it's bad for you. A Monday news story? Queen, they were already talking about you being in that household, getting your booty played with, and now we're over here. T.D. Jake's baby has been named for some issues and things with, do you understand where this can go? Oh, the Potter house about to be digging, baby. This is a lot. So concerns and questions. It's Monday news. That's bad. You never want to be Monday news. That means for the rest of the week, we going to be talking about you. There is no weekend break. <laughs> there is no weekend break where it's just cable news that's discussing you and it's not that big and it get, maybe dies down if something else happens. No, baby. Monday news. It's a, it's a wrap. And I felt like it was plotted and planned for it to be Monday news, for it to be a bigger deal. But once again, like I just said, like I just was talking about, the Trump thing happened. That got lowered. People were upset. Trump fans were happy. It was big news. All of a sudden, this takes place. We are no longer discussing that. I said, woof. Woof. I said, this, that was too quick. <laughs> I said something. That was quick. I don't like that. I don't like that. Now, also, from the Neighborhood Talk, former Motown Records CEO Ethiopia uh, Haptamarium uh, to testify against Diddy in exchange for being dropped from da 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 lawsuit. I have personal knowledge of the facts. If called upon as witness, I could and would com uh, competently testify. <laughs> so now you already got people who are ready to go against him that are now talking about this just not 24 hours after this news dropped. Ooh. A alleged mule arrested on charges during run-in with the feds. And apparently it was Kiel Camp in Ganja that was being supplied. But TMZ dropped the mugshot. I was like, who is this? <laughs> who is this? But baby, listen, once I saw this eyebrow, once I saw this, I knew he was a thug. When I tell you this, this, this gangster right here, you knew he was a thug, baby. Got that one eyebrow given shot. <laughs> I said, whoa, okay. Um, it, the, it, hey, we we still going somewhere. Listen, TMZ reporting that Diddy has sold off all his shares in Revolt TV to an anonymous buyer, meaning he's no longer associated with the company he co-founded. All right, we're removing assets. We are selling things. We're now trying to stack up some coin. This is going to be interesting. <laughs> this is gonna be interesting uh i have nothing to say in reference for this man and what's going on right now but i also would like to say that um we been had sort of a a, a squint when it comes to datums datums whatever you want to call them and it i think for me it was when the justin bieber you know that that sort of era when Justin was very young and Diddy was always around him. And then like other things to me just didn't make sense with this man. And I was like, what is going on on this good Sunday? Uh, they also have a video, they have video footage that's been on Twitter right now of 
one of his neighbors basically saying he would have bus loads dropping off at the house, bus loads. I'm like, excuse me? And people thought he was lying, but then it was, they were saying, if you listen to how he's talking, he was releasing so much information literally out the window of his car while he's driving past and very much giving too much of a detailed information as far as, bitch, I'd be seeing this at night. So again, that's hearsay, but like, it's not going, it's not looking good for him. It's not, not even close. If money gets him out, that it's going to be a gag. I mean, it works for others, but sometimes, uh, you know, one will be saved over another in terms of how they do things here. So I don't know what's going to go down, but yikes. Oh, we talking about, oh, please don't, Joyce. Joyce, oh my God, Kim Porter, do not. Ooh, I don't, I don't know if we could talk about that. That baby, we were very much there for that conversation on something doesn't seem right. And we tried to be as polite as possible in the situation because of being respectful to Kim. But like a lot of us had questions to why how it was so sudden. It was so like, huh? And then even the way it was handled after that with with Diddy and, and like how it went down it was it was kind of like what is going on here mm -hmm. where is JLo too Church girl trying to get oh, oh, never mind Matthew we're not talking about Jennifer today we're not talking about Hennifer we're not talking about Hennifer mind you things aren't doing so well for Miss Mama either because she was uh had to announce her retirement I was very thankful for that. <laughs> I'm very thankful for that. <laughs> just, just act, baby. I, 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 mm -mm. Can't do the music. All right, we're gonna move past Diddy. Let's get into a television series that I enjoy, but is also very much almost trauma to watch. Is Euphoria? If you've never seen the series, it's based off of like kids in high school or teens or people who are in their late twenties playing teens in high school in a nonsensical fashion sort of way, since the outfits they're wearing in school do not make any sense whatsoever at all. But it's very sexual. It's very heavy into the narcotics of the situation. And it's very, very drama, dramatic. It's, it's a lot to take in. To be honest, I like the show. It hits multiple levels. I actually kind of knew some people in school like this. <laughs> So I, I found it to be relatable to a certain extent, but um, not to all levels here. But Euphoria was a very popular show on uh, HBO. It has two seasons so far, but season three has been delayed by quite some time because a lot of the stars on the show, like Jacob Elordi, uh, Zendaya, Sydney Sweeney, uh, Hunter Schaefer are now bigger stars and the show is not really necessary for their careers to be successful or it's not really that big of a check for them anymore right now because of basically their acting talents have now gone into multiple, you know, major motion pictures, especially Zendaya. Especially Zendaya, <laughs> okay? Like, Mama, Zendaya is now booked for the new Spider-Man movie. After the trilogy, that amazing, that amazing end for that trilogy when the, the universes collide, that was such a good movie. Um, she's now booked again, still, still got her the Spider-Man money. I said, oh girl, you are set for life. She was also in Dune 2 recently. Uh, check out the Dune series. But yeah, like Sydney Sweeney just came out with Immaculate. She was also in some rom-com that surprisingly did well, even though I don't find her acting interesting, but I think she's a gorgeous girl. Hunter Schaefer is that, is the one for me. I live and breathe for my sister. Also, she's going to be in a new movie called uh, Cuckoo. Jacob Elordi was also in Saltburn recently. That was a very, that movie did very well. You hear what I'm saying? Like everybody that you see in this picture, not even including others like Bar uh, Barbie or, um, she was in Nope not too long ago like the girls are working so there is conflicts happening with euphoria and i guess hbo and what they're trying to do with the show and also it's very hard to get people to come back with their filming schedule so they told them that season three is on hold and they can start to go for other projects but this is how i feel about that you're gonna have to recast the show 
you're going to have to do something to get this. They're not going to stay youthful forever. It's going to be a little weird. I don't want to see them outside of high school. If the show is Euphoria based in school, and this is supposed to be some like weird fucking shit happening with like these high school students that we're also on the outside of looking like, what the hell? What's going on? This is fucked up. I don't think it would make any sense or just end it. Or just ended, period. But uh, but you need a full recast. You almost can make it like an anthology series at this point and make it like a new class of kid, people coming in and it's their senior year going into college. Something like that. But but right now, you want us to wait another set of years to come back to this? Oh, you're, 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 pfft, bullshit. <laughs> no, that's, stu that's stupid. That's stupid. Everybody's in their own world. Oh, we get a season of them outside of that. No, the thing is, is that if this was done correctly after the last season, we would have figured out what happened to Rue because that was a really, 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 really fucked up way to go. Like that ending was scary. <laughs> we definitely need to know what happened to Rue, which is another reason why I want them to. <laughs> I need them to really hurry up and, and figure this out because I'm going to at least need a, uh, you know, What's it called? One of those series that's like a little spinoff. It's like just two episodes or something just to explain what happened to her. Cause that was a really weird ending and it would be kind of sad if that's how her story is left off. I didn't care about Sydney Sweeney's character, Hunter Schaefer. I did like Jacob Bellardi. Oh, he made me so uncomfortable in the show. He was so ugh, cringe, 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 cringe. Taylor, whatever it takes. You're trying to turn it into Degrassi now. I mean, but like it was already Degrassi, but like the worst kind of Degrassi. Degrassi in like the next verse. <laughs> I don't want to see them afterwards. I wish they uh, based this in college though. So this wouldn't have been like people in high school because it was also weird seeing certain scenes. And as us as adults watching, it's like, so is the idea that we know they're all of age, but you have them set as a certain age as an actor like is that what we're doing here and and not to say that sydney's wrong for her role but they definitely wrote her character to be the male attraction that comes to the show to watch you know what i'm saying like specifically for her character i want to know in the comment section while you're doing the live chat who is your favorite character from euphoria it's weird because rue was always mine but it became maddie <laughs> after the last season it was maddie it was absolutely maddie i don't know why i lived and breathed for her this last season but she gave me my full life <laughs> oh my gosh I lived and breathed for maddie i also one of my favorite scenes too from the show is that bathroom scene that was brilliant 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 where it's all in her head and she's having this moment about you know basically sleeping with maddie's boyfriend and it's like they're all in the bathroom and she's like why are you dressed like this bitch are you joking <laughs> <laughs> oh i forgot about um his dad being gay and him having that whole like repressed storyline that was a lot to take in that was a lot to take in i was like oh my god because it was kind of hot but it was also like this is fucked up Coleman Domingo's character. I did love him too. He was really trying to help Rue, but she didn't, she didn't you know. Mm -mm. Jules since day one. I know that's right. Kat and Maddie. The way they did Kat's character was 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 trash. Oh, actually, I, I want to change my answer. It's Maddie, but I also have to include um what's my girl's name? Uh Judd Apatow's daughter. Oh my god, what's my girl's name? Because that play was everything. Yeah, it's it's definitely going to be Maddie and her. Come on, Matt. I haven't watched the show in so long. <laughs> it's been forever since it's been on. Very that, right? Hold on, y'all. Do you hear this motherfucker outside? Give me a second.
No, that is the stray cat who is in heat right now. And he knows that I have a girl cat in my home. And he's been popping up and it's been today where this is kind of happening. And I'm like, what is going on here today? Like, I mean, need you to stop. Cause I don't, I, I already like got some spray on the way from Amazon to prevent that, but I don't want to do that girl, but I'm like, hold on now. <laughs> like, yeah, the, the, there is definitely mating season. And I'm like, okay, this is starting to get a little nuts, but mm -mm. I know, I know he want my baby, but that's not going to happen. Okay. Back to the show, back to euphoria, back to the full bit. Thank you for your answers in the live chat. I love the show, but I'm also like, Okay, well, if they don't get into heat, but they're always looking, then this one is looking. So to me, he's in heat. <laughs> um, literally, literally at my door, like, I'm like, what are you doing? Like, I don't own you. You are not mine. And no, you may not come in. <laughs> oh, I don't like her as an actress, and I'm not trying to be mean here. But if th if this happens, I'm not I'm not I'm really not going to watch it. I'm already disappointed from the last Jurassic Park and whatever we got with Jurassic World, like on a real note, like for real, for real. No shade to you. I can play any color. I can play a tree lady. No shade to you, Scar jo. But like the fact that they're trying to do another Jurassic World movie is wild to me. It is wild to me. Wild. Um, because the last movie was bad. The first Jurassic World, when Bryce Dallas Howard was running through the woods with some heels on, everything. Um, the second one, mm, it just wasn't good to, I didn't like the last couple ones. I also didn't really care for, you know, our favorite, um, what's that man's name? Mario's voice. <sighs> I keep wanting to call him Andy from, um, well, not, and not Andy. Uh, yeah, Andy. Yeah, Chris Pratt. There we go. Thank you. <laughs> well, I just need the first name. I didn't care for him. I thought the whole storyline was stupid. He's raised these raptors. What? <laughs> I thought that was crazy to me. I just couldn't get into that. I prefer him as Star-Lord. I, I loved him in Guardians of the Galaxy, but... Child, Chris Pratt used to get on my nerves in Jurassic World. I could never take it seriously. Whoa, girl. Whoa, girl. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, Blue. Shh, shh, shh. Please. Then the whole storyline about the the little girl who was like that has like dinosaur DNA or that like clone DNA or whatever. Girl, that was crazy to me. I couldn't take it seriously. I was like, this movie. They've gone. Cr this is too much. <laughs> so I don't know where they can go with this series, unless they focus on like a certain era of dinosaurs and like take it to like ice age or if they go into like the ocean specifically since it's mostly been based off the of land with like one or two like aquatic dinosaurs but uh girl I, I i don't want this eyes on me thank you master back it's like what is what is this like are you okay? Who, what two dinosaurs are you going to fuse uh, together this time? Is the Triceratops going to be a meat eater? Like, what's going to happen? I don't care anymore. Now, you know what should be made that's a dinosaur uh, related, like, story and all that jazz? Dino Crisis, the video game. Look it up. That. Now, that should be a movie. Dawn. Oh, we we're here as i just said dawn we are here i just ow i poked my eye <laughs> oh my god my <laughs> ow <laughs> okay <laughs> that mm -hmm. okay enough of you scar joe enough of you. I, I just thought this was silly i was like wait they're doing another one and it's jurassic world we're still doing this they should have just ended it with the last one, but it is a billion dollar franchise. So I'm going to be as fair as I possibly can today. I am not going to attack Miss Todrick, but I am going to talk about what baby girl was saying on her live. Once again, entertainment purposes only. 
Okay. Yesterday, Tasha got online and was talking about wanting to sell his house or possibly rent it, but it's difficult because of certain things and situations that are happening. And he was telling people that he dropped his uh, cameo request down to $5. And he's like, if you could tip, it'd be really appreciated. And he was talking about all of this. And people were, of course, leaving certain comments that he was addressing, but he then spoke of someone who is living in said home with him, who is now taking advantage of him, and then spoke about that person saying that they were going to go to the news and it was sort of a threat and da 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 and all that kind of stuff, right? I said, okay, I received that. Somebody in the live comments was like, you're saying all this and asking for us to do that and you have a Cartier bracelet on. And he said, well, people like in my position do go through hard times too, which is true. So that I'm not going to even front on when it comes to it. Everybody that has a high will eventually have a low. And some people who have always had lows will eventually have their highs. And sometimes we just sit in the middle, right? So I get that. Now, I'm not going to go over there and be like, girl, pawn your shit and do all that kind of stuff too, baby. I have a whole tip jar scrolling down here. Do you hear me? <laughs> so I hope he figures that out. Where my process of thought went to is the last statement, not him saying he's going through a tough time. I can understand. We get it. Not everybody's season is forever. Receive. It's the last statement. And I'm like, huh? Who in your home that's taking advantage of you that you wanted to clock right now, currently, that you wanted to address in this video, almost to emphasize the point of needing to get certain things. So that's why I was like, did you mean to do that? Or was that like, you've been holding it in for a little too long and now it's time to explode, which as a Libra, I, I can relate. But it was like, that had nothing to do with what you really needed to say. Like it, it had to do with how you're having issues, most certainly, Todd, but that kind of didn't really apply to the first part that you were doing. And I said, she spilled too early. Oop, shouldn't have done that. So now we're talking about it. Everyone is assuming it's Kyland from Big Brother, also from The Challenge. Hello to Kyland. I'm a, I actually like Kyland a lot. Like he's good TV. He's also very attractive. <laughs> Ooh, he's very attractive, but it's, that is the rumor. For those of you who don't know who the finest that I'm talking about is, the finest. Thank you. Okay. Now, allegedly, Kylan is doing the challenge 40 right now with MTV because they've already been like on, you know, doing the challenges this and the other. I think they went to Vietnam this year. So, I believe he's still in the game from my understanding of knowledge because, yes, there are um, <laughs> spoiler uh, alerts that come up and I may sometimes drop into those. <laughs> but I don't, like, like there has been no response and reference for this or no one speaking on it. So I don't know if that was Sadra just, like, dropping a little whatever, whatever and some frustration. Maybe they'll work this out later or whatnot. Is is it true that that person is taking advantage or maybe that person was helping you with said bills and then, you know, now you don't want them there anymore or whatnot because there were a lot of friendly photos between the two. It's interesting. I'm, I, I don't, oh God, I don't, I don't know about this. So this is why I'm not like, Todra girl, you need to grow. I'm not doing that with Miss Dodge. I'm like, no, it's more so you're going through a rough time. I can receive that. A lot of us do go through these tough times. The Cartier bracelet was a choice to have on in the video, but like, yes, I get it. However, when we get to you need to spill a little something, something, it's like, well, there's only so many people that we know have lived in that house that are also normally associated with reality TV shows where you host big parties for, where I've had friends go to, right? So it's like, mm, I hear that, but I'm like, did you need to say that? Or again, was it just a moment of, bitch, I'm frustrated. I need to get this off my chest. This is why I'm doing the live in the first place. And because people are trying me in the comment section, I need to give a little bit more emphasis on what I'm dealing with. That is what I'm receiving this as versus I'm trying to be a little shady bitch right now. More so, 
I've had it. I need to talk about it. But I'm also like, please don't. But I'm also like, wait, I like Kylan, but wait. <laughs> oh, God. I hated that whole arc with Melinda, though. Ugh. It's like, no. <laughs> She's drama. You're going to get in trouble. I'm telling you. And then they were on him the rest of the season. I hated last season of the challenge. It was so trash. Like, they were just so mean to Norris and Kylan and uh, Horacio. I could not take it. I just could not take it. Jay and Michelle. Oh, my God. I just couldn't do it. I was like, why do y'all have to be mean this season? I Like, I know there's no, you know, uh, veterans here this season. But Jesus Christ. Like, just because you've been on the show six times doesn't mean now you're the vet. You could start doing Oh, it was terrible. It was so boring. And, like, no shade to Emmanuel because he was the winner, but he also rode coattails all the way there. Like, he was put into the pit a few times, but he started to play the game with the girls who were running the numbers and coattailed it up. So he can't act like, oh, y'all are salty because it's that nothing. Like, no, baby, you started playing that too because your name was often on everybody's lips because you were uh, messing with all the girls in the house. Mind you, had a girlfriend back at home, T. Also, what was that other baby's name who really didn't impact at all? And she was talking that sh gooey, gooey shit at the reunion, but it was like Miss Thing. Anywho, I love the challenge. I love reality TV. I love Big Brother. I love, I'm actually watching Survivor now. It's weird. <laughs> I used to not be into Survivor at all, but I'm kind of into it. I just would never do that show, ever. There's no way you could drop me off on like an island with some random people and we're all musty for many days. There's no way. There's no deal. What, are you are you crazy? We're eating outside like this? No table? No silver? Uh-uh. I saw this one episode where they're like eating peanut butter. Like they, that was their prize. It was peanut butter. And I'm watching them like dirty ass hands and shit. Like I'm like, oh, like that's nasty. Like, oh my God. Like all of the earth is coming in with you. That's so gross. <laughs> I can't do it today. Listen. Again, it's just Maddie. We're literally at the hour marker here, and I got through all the hot topics I'm going to talk about today, but I am going to start talking about some other things too, and just life stuff as well. Interact with y'all in the chat because I love you. Um, hit the like button, share, and subscribe. Become part of this Rant Pack family. Shout out to Taylor for being in the chat today. Love you. Love you. Can't I, Listen, I'm going to be real, sister. I want you back on TV. I am a little bit of a, a, a Taylor snob, okay? So I want my sister Taylor back on TV. She's good TV. Mama gives to the camera every time. It's always right, but also confessionals, hilarious, full personality, great. I just, I love her on television. She's awesome. Uh, and I, again, am sad she did not win, but I also was happy she made it to the finals because she played that. I was like, girl, she did that. <laughs> uh, what do you think about the latest solo leveling? I'm actually behind on solo, solo leveling. I think, ooh, Taylor would be good on traders, but I would be concerned because they might try to get her out early. And I don't want mama to be her early out. I need her like going many distances. <laughs> they can't put her as a trader. She has to be a faithful. They'd have to make, yeah, Taylor would, the only way I know my mama would make it through is if she was a faithful. And I know she might want to be a trader, but no, they would. <laughs> I mean, you you were there for the first episode of your season. You saw when people feel like intimidated to do. And then she ended up not being able to sleep and had to leave. Uh -huh. Oh, that was so satisfying. Oh, that felt good. Oh, that felt good. Please tell me y'all remember that moment of that season for Big Brother with Taylor's season. When like, she was literally just trying to work strategy and then all of a sudden it was turned against her. And then this thing, oh, she's as... Uh, she's a beauty queen. So she's like, we don't like that. She thinks she's ugh, the full bit of her. So nasty. So nasty and so rude. And then she couldn't sleep and had to go home. Oh, it was good. <laughs> oh, it was great. <laughs> I ain't never cheered so hard in my life. Y'all don't even know. I was at my house just cackling. Like, <laughs> y'all don't even know. And she was like, later on that interview, I, that is not what it was, girl, please. Like we, we saw how you were seething every time she stepped in the room, you waited for her to leave just to talk about her nastiness. Don't even get me to that uh, fake Elvis impersonator dude on there with his grossness, how they was trying to be aggressive with her in the bathroom that one time when the girl, I, I, dude, ooh, I was, 
See, Monty was a little puss. And that's why for me, if I had been on that season and it would have been, girl, that wouldn't have gone down like that. That would not have gone down that way. I'm so, so I'm so sorry. Ain't no way. Ain't nobody talking. Like, uh-uh. <laughs> the way I would have stood right in front of her and been like, okay, first of all, <laughs> two feet. <laughs> Second of all, don't bump. Don't do nothing crazy like that. Because trust, I'm a girl that swings. Tap, tap. I'm not knocking on doors. Knock on your head. <laughs> like, let's not do this today. I'd have lost that day. Maddie was evicted from the house. Sure was. <laughs> Sure was. I'll be the angry one for you because he got on my nerves. He complained way too much. And also, Miss I'm a cop. Boo, boo, and his sister burger, boo. Anywho, sorry, that season still, we had to hold it down in the Taylor Fort for a very long time. We were worried about decisions that were being made. I was nervous. <laughs> I was nervous that whole season. <laughs> but we got it in the long run, y'all. We got we we got it. It was it was good to go. Now. Okay, so there's a new show coming out on Amazon called The Goat, and it has a lot of reality TV stars on there, certain ones who I'm big fans of, like Devon from uh, Big Brother, but also she was on The Challenge, too. Whew, so happy she's back on TV. Love and respect her down. Also, Alyssa Edwards from RuPaul's Drag Race is going to be on there. I made a tweet saying Alyssa's about to have a great year for TV, and that definitely is alluding to something. I'm not going to spill the rest of those beans, but I, I have a feeling we'll be seeing Alyssa a lot more on our television sets this year. I have a good, good, good old nasty feeling. We're going to see her often. Ooh, often. Hold on, but hold, listen. Now, did you see? I'm not really excited. Nige, only because I got spoiled for the season, so I'm I'm low key over it. To be to be very real with you, the challenge forty I'm more interested in because it's going to be eras, and it's going to be like people from the earliest seasons all the way to the most recent seasons. So it's going to be like an all stars mixed in with like the newer seasons too, which I think is going to be interesting. So I'm probably going to watch it, but I'm not going to be happy about. Third episode. <laughs> I'm going to be over it. If that's true. If that T is true. Because they also recently. Um, I don't even think it's the third episode. I think it's like halfway through where it, it's like, wait, wait, what's happening? Like, what decisions are being made here? How is that even possible? Uh, God, because there was something that, ha that happened recently where I was kind of gagged on. And I was like, wait, is that true? Yeah, because the Candace Drag Race rumors were flipped and a lot of people were pissed at the first set of rumors and then the next set just got dropped and it was like, oh, okay, well, that makes a lot more sense. <laughs> no, I haven't played the new Princess Peach game. I've been focusing on my Miami trip coming up. So like every bit of coin I've had has literally just been to that and like feeding myself and paying my bills and my kids and keeping my cats on the good ship lollipop with the seat yeah i want to play it though i heard it was fun that would be fun to play on the plane but my mom i've been real focused Ooh, all right can't yeah canda versus the world looks like it's going to be a good time the canda drag race rumor for season five is going to be a cack i if the if the one queen i think that is going to be on there is going to be there i am very happy <laughs> uh they recently followed me back uh this year actually so i'm kind of like oh we we about to see this is is we gonna keep it where we need it kind of like it also, for those of you who are fans of uh, Drag Race Mexico, Valentina will not be coming back next season. That is the alleged rumor. Uh, there will be a replacement um, yet to be named, but there are, will be a replacement. I think Lolita Banana will still be there, but they're going to keep the co-hosting. But Valentina will not be coming back next season. Rumors, alleged rumors, in reference to being a little bit unprofessional. Yes, Shirley, uh, I did talk about this in another video, but uh, there have been more allegations dropped against uh, Shangela Laquifa Watley. Uh, cannot discuss the specifics to that based off the terms of service with YouTube. I would highly recommend because it was a Rolling Stone, Rolling Stone article about Miss Shangie. 
Um, and y'all know I like Shangela, but I'm also like, ooh, child. I don't know what's about to happen with baby girl, but uh, we'll see. Also, uh, as y'all know, I'm a huge Beyonce fan, uh, a Houston, Houstonian from Houston, Texas over here. So Beyonce always has a special place in my heart. Three more days until we get Cowboy Carter. I just got my email in the mail. That is not how that happened, Maddie. I just got my email <laughs> uh, about the box that is going to be sent. I got the red one. I got the one with the white t-shirt with the red, like, um, the little red sleeves and all that the little cowboy Carter bit with that. Yeah. That's the one I got. Um, and I love, I got that email cause I just like got so giddy. Whew. Oh man. I am so hyped to hear about just because mind you renaissance was a surprise for me like i knew she was going to go to a certain level but i didn't know how much i was going to really really love it to where i can now say renaissance is my favorite beyonce album she has ever come out with i can say it with my full chest i can literally say it with my full chest like that is my favorite and i love a lot of the old stuff like beyonce self-titled is also one of the greatest ones b-day is that girl we can go down the line like four is one of her best vocal albums ever it is literally where she's like you about to hear me sweetie uh and then lemonade is an art piece like my, my, my mother is bad like y'all can play if you want to with your others and you could try her and call her granny my musical mother you can never you can't you you will not you will not bam 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 you're not going to sweaty underarms and all i'm tina belcher in this bitch you just will not I got a to what tote fan. <laughs> this and not even that's that's the fan I got from the first set of merch. This is from the damn tour. Talk about some heated, like please, like you don't. It's, it's real over here. I got all four boxes from Renaissance. That was stupid. I was like, it's just. I was like, girl, really. <laughs> This time the shirts are completely different per the limited edition box sets, which I'm very thankful that Beyonce took that note because I was like, oh, they're just different poses. Now Miss Thang. <laughs> so I still got some boxes over here that I'd be willing to sell to somebody by, by all means. Um, I only opened, what was it? I opened two or was it four? I think I opened four and I have still one through three that are still wrapped up perfectly. Like, so yeah. Um, but I did get the box set. I'm kind of excited for it. I did not get the vinyl. I don't have a record player. I find that to be silly, but I also think that if you're a collector, it makes sense. I'm not a collector of those. I already have Funko pops. That's my only obsession I want to worry about, but there are rumors of people, you know, that she's going to be working with on the album as features. Now, it is possible that there are no features and it's just producers that are being discussed, but I have a feeling it's not going to be just that because Grace Jones being on this last album was still a gag. Um, I think it's going to be Miley Cyrus. I think it may, may be Lady Gaga, which I would really appreciate it since they did the To Be Continued and we did all of that, even with the video phone to telephone. I just, please, if it's Taylor Swift... Will the Taylor Swift fans stop being so racist to Beyonce? And I'm not talking to all of you. I'm talking to the many, the many online, the many. I know Dolly Parton's for sure, because Dolly already spilled. I heard she cleared a sample for that. And I said, Dolly, shush. <laughs> we want to hear the song. She is petty. That is a petty Virgo. Do not say anything crazy. She is good for, oh, you, you don't think I will? We got a whole album for her being petty. Getting her lick back to the CMAs. What are you talking about? A whole album after that. Y'all hoes made me feel like shit. Fine. I'm going to enter your arena and then take over. What's up? I'm going to bring the arena back to where it was, and then I'm going to let you have it again. I'm going to change the bar in your own arena, and I'm going to walk away. 
oh, that's why I like this. <laughs> that's why I like this. I'm like, oh, yes, please, please do. Please do make me enjoy a whole genre of music that I hate. Because I can't stand country music. And I'm going to be one of those uh, punks that going to tell you right now. Yes. I am only getting this because it's Beyonce. Absolutely. Sure am. I love Texas Hold'em. It's a great song. I love the ending the best, though, because that change up was sickening. And But 16 Carriages also is very deep. And it hits me personally. It's a beautiful song. I want her to do what she did with Renaissance. I want Cowboy Carter to be just like how Renaissance is, where it was a blend of many different genres. Oh, that's right. I am doing a reaction to this on Patreon. So when I do get the album, um, I am going to be doing a reaction for my Patreon subscribers. Uh, I will be trying my best to edit it down as much as possible. <laughs> but yes, I will be doing a special Patreon reaction on Friday. That's going to be fun. Uh, ooh, that's going to be really tough. I hope that happens early in the morning so I can just have it then because it's also going to be UK versus the world day and like season 16. Yeah, I'm not a fan of it only because of my own... I'm, a, I'm, again, born, raised Houston, Texan. So I'm all about, there's so much country music happening out here in Texas. To me, it was over consumed as a kid because I'd always be in certain spaces where uh, that is all that was being played to a nauseam level of annoying, okay? And like every time it would be discussed about rapper, this, that, and the other, thug would be the word of the day. So like for me, there's this connotation that, we're not allowed to really enjoy this, even though I know that's not the truth, but it's by the people who I was around that were stereotyping the countries for white people, rap is for black people, don't come over here. And then you have folks like Darius Rucker, who a lot of people are like, well, he's been doing country music and he's successful. Darius Rucker was part of a, a band in like rock music, alternative. He already had a mainly white audience that carried over into his country career. First chop, you're, you, you're not gonna do this today. Where Miss Mama did formation and everyone lost their shit, came to the uh, Super Bowl in full Black Panther attire and the girls lost it and made it all about her, this, that, and the other, like with the police and the situation there. Like, please, like, let's not do that today. Hooting the blowfish, right. Like they people are trying to take actual facts that also apply into why someone is, is very successful because they know if we add it to the equation, we have a point. And not to be shady, but I don't see him as self-identifying like black man. You understand what I'm saying? He gives me Candace Owens tease in terms of how, you know, he views himself in this world uh, as a individual who is a minority. If you understand what I'm talking about, where, you know, I'm going to roll with it, but I'm not going to roll with the rest of them. So mm, that, but moving past that point, <laughs> moving past that point, I'm just happy that we're getting a new Beyonce album. I'm happy it's not four years later. I'm happy it's not five to six to seven to eight to nine years later. I'm happy that Mama is not retired just yet. If she decides to go on tour again, God help me. I am never doing a pre-sell ever again just because I'm a Ticketmaster Remember, I'm never doing that ever again, ever again, ever again. I want much closer seats next time. So like, yes, Uncle Darius Ruckus, <laughs> very much that. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I, I, if she decides not to go in concert, that's fine too. I kind of want this to be just like a an album that we get to listen to. We don't have to go to a concert necessarily, but... I, I want her to wait until act three to then go back into, con you know, on, you know, yeah, touring again. Oh, yeah. I would love for her to wait until after act three. Like we get a whole visual movie, which I heard was in the works. And then we go on tour again. And it'd be maybe if this is her last and she's like, I want to retire. OK, then. I'd be satisfied. I'm like, B, you put out many great albums. Um, I don't want to post my first listen on YouTube only because 
YouTube's been weird about certain stuff with me lately, and I don't want to get on their bad side. I would like to keep my channel as squeaky clean as possible. Um, and I have a feeling that if I do it, uh, I'll be called out for it. I always see other folks do it and I'm like, why are they not getting like flagged and shit? And why is it me? And I just never can understand what I'm doing wrong in that department. Um, I'm also don't have people that work with me. It's just me, myself and I. So yeah, I plan to do it for Patreon though. Cause I can do my reactions on Patreon without any issues. Maybe if I can, maybe if I did some sort of clip show or something like that for like a short where it doesn't have any of the sound that's happening and I just put like what song I'm listening to and I have like my physical like reaction or whatever that's going to it plus including my like audio for it, it's possible. But for Patreon, I would just do like the full with the whatever clips from the songs I can do. And then if I did it to YouTube, I just would not have any of the music in it and just sort of do like a, like a edit, 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 cut, cut, cut. <laughs> do the AI voice. I, I, I'm I one of those anti-AI people. I have become that person. I hate it. There are so many things I keep seeing in our room. Just like, this sounds absolutely fucking terrible. That is not that person. There is no soul behind this individual. This is not even them speaking. You can tell there's not one inflection. There's not one a breath, not a single. It, oh, it's weird. It's weird. <laughs> I don't like it. Oh, I'm definitely doing more shorts. I'm definitely doing more sh more shorts. <laughs> I'm definitely doing more shorts. Um, for the X, I saw X Men ninety seven being like a talking point. I talked about that already on the panel. Um, I'm actually going to wait a little bit until they give me more episodes. I do not like having to wait. I have become that person, like a Netflix kind of guy where I'm like, oh, I have to wait for something. This is, mm -mm, no, I want the whole thing. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me right now, now, now. So yeah, I have a lot to say. I enjoy the show. I don't really care for the animation, but it sometimes looks really cool. I don't like Storm's hairstyle. That's not my favorite Storm. Y'all know I prefer the, um, uh, House of X hairstyle where it looks like her hair is fucking clouds. That shit is so fire. But like I, it, but also I enjoyed the bigger hair. No, sh no, sh no shade to my short hair ladies, but I just, I, I don't like the bald head. It's interesting. I'm, I'm excited for what they do with the show. Uh, and I'm glad that X-Men is started getting their love again, because it honestly is one of my, if not actually, yes, it is my favorite. It is my favorite. <laughs> Uh, superhero, comic, any sort of, sit anything to do with comics, X-Men are my number one. X-Men is my number one with Marvel. Batman is my number one with DC. And that's how I go. If, you, if you're ever like, well, what? how do you feel, Maddie? X-Men, Batman, I'll be there. I won't question it. The ones I won't be there for, Superman. Too powerful. I'm good. All right. mm -mm. No, thank you. Mm -mm. Don't care. Low, mm, don't care. Mm -mm. Nope. Mm -mm. Good. Who? Um, from Marvel. I don't care. Uh, let me see. Ooh, y'all gonna hate this. Iron Man. Don't care. A privileged son of a man that did really like interesting deeds to get where he's supposed to go. That now uses his abilities to say the word. I'm cool. But it's like Batman. Not really. Not really. DC. Great. Wonder Woman. Live and breathe for Diana. Live and breathe. Let's just add Catwoman to that too. Wonder Woman. Catwoman. Most of the, the majority of the women in DC, I will bet, I will very much be there for. Marvel too. Just women in general, which is why I always hit when girls give me the misogynistic bit. I'm like, this thing, I literally pick only women characters in fighting games. I literally will only be there for mostly women lead movies. Like, no shade. I, I'm the guy that hates Fast and the Furious. I think that is the, one of the dumbest things I've ever seen in my life. It is it's all about family. It's all about family. Cars flying in the air. I just hit the turbo deuce. We're going to make it across the mountain. I saw Vin Diesel and Michelle Rodriguez's face literally be able to fly from one plane to hit the side of a mountain, to then drive in, in the middle of being slammed from the G4, whatever gravity that didn't exist that moment, to then drive 
on the side of a mountain to then be able to pop the car back up <laughs> and somehow safely land on the ground and no one is hurt. Boo! And Doobie loves that shit because it's very like, okay, this is popcorn, right? But no, that, that is the dumbest thing ever. Like, what? It's family. It's family. It's family. They hired all these A-list people. I'm glad they got paid, though. Real talk. Real talk. Can't do it, though. Couldn't be me. God bless y'all. I can't stand it. M. S, thank you for the tippy poo on um, Cash App. Hold on. Oh, I didn't know they did these personalized notes. This is new. Have an amazing vacation. Love you. You are that girl. Thank you so very much. That is so cool. I've never seen that with Cash App. That must be a new feature. Oh, that was fun. Thank you. That's pretty. <laughs> that's I don't know why that just pulled that fully entranced me, but I'm like, oh, that's I've never seen that. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, that is so dope. Sorry, I'm all enamored by it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, thanks y'all for tuning in today. We're having fun, aren't we? I'm ready for my vacation. I've been discussing it, but I'm like super ready. After this, for though, oh, I remember I told you I was going to get lasagna yesterday. I didn't. I didn't get the lasagna. I don't know why, but this diet has now taken complete control of my life to where when I'm at the grocery store, I cannot pick up bread or anything that I just said I wasn't going to eat. Like, it's like a secondhand, like, oh, no, never mind. <sighs> no, never mind. So I was on Uber Eats looking for it, like looking down, but I was like, baby... I just can't do it. So I ended up just making a salad. <laughs> I made a salad and I took some frozen chicken and just like air fried it and cut it off. I was just like, <laughs> I was like nine days. You, you're almost there, Maddie. Nine days. Like even today when I went to the grocery store, nuts, salad, because I was doing this video about lower abs the other day, popcorn. <laughs> I can eat popcorn, but it has to be like that free and like nothing's on it, which I have a only lightly salted popcorn, Jesus Christ. Um, even when I was in the store, cause y'all know I love juice. Juice is king. I love juice. Even the zero sugar juice is everything now for me. Cause y'all know I almost was pre-diabetic. Well, actually I was like right on the edge of pre-diabetes. So I've knocked it down and I know for sure the next time I go get my physical and get my blood done and everything, I, I know my doctor's going to be like, baby. Because I'm like, yeah, girl, it has been straight up water for basically two months. Oh, my God. I have been drinking water for day. Oh, my God. Who am I? Ah! Who am I? Who is this person? I don't like this. Okay. Whew. That's why I was like, just, just get to Miami and then just do what you want to do. So, like, you could say Atkins or, like, ke uh, Keto if you really want to, like, bring it up. All I did was, for me, I looked at everything that was advice that I felt was keeping me from getting the body or at least attaining the shape and weight that I want to. And my abs aren't, like, fully where I want them to be right now, but I have definitely cut my waist in and I no longer have my tummy pooching out like I used to just from standing up and all that kind of stuff. My tummy's like all the way, like she's in here, girl. And my chest has formed a little bit more. Like, let me see, am I in my arm error? I don't know. Like my arms weren't looking like this earlier. Like it's just, it's a little bit better for me. So like, yeah, for, for me, it's juice and bread. Like, I love sweets. I love pastries. I love anything to do with that. If I'm going to get, like, Chinese food, it's rice all the time. Pasta is that girl. So I said, nah, we are going to remove bread, remove pasta, remove rice, any kind of starch like that out the door. Then we're going to go to the sugars, and juice has always been the main issue. So remove juice. So that I started at the like second to last week of February. That was like what February 21st or February something 17th. I have to go look back. 
because I just started just not counting the days. I just kept going. That was where I was. I was at 206 in September and I was at 200 plus pounds during my drag performance, which I fucking hated um because i've never been that high in my weight but i got really sad and depressed and was starting to eat my feelings and binge eating like crazy so whew, had to cut that out and um now i'm currently at like 180.2 this morning i was supposed to be at 185 but i kind of went a little overboard with like stress not eating because y'all know i've been a little bit stressed out and a little bit burned out lately so instead of me eating because i'm so nervous to gain weight again i'm like not been eating and I've been having to force myself to really get back into it again. This is, these are the things that I deal with like off camera where I'm just like, okay, Maddie, we're really going through something here. Oh, you started on February 12th. Wow. So it's been longer than, whoa. It's been, oh, it's been longer than what I thought it was. I thought it was later than that. It was earlier than that. That's crazy. <sighs> yeah, I I legit like am ready to get back to bread again. I just think the juice part is still going to be on hold until my vacation. But like lately, I have been craving some sort of like pasta or something like that. I've just been craving it. So I might get that lasagna today after this live. I might just get it. But if I do, I really want the Barnaby's lasagna, or if I can find something that has like spinach in it. Like if I if I find one that's meatless. I will feel much better about it. I think that's what I'm going to do. If I can find a meatless vegetarian lasagna option that's like just spinach and cheese, I will be very good. I'll be okay. And I'm also, y'all know I was raised as a vegetarian when I was younger, like all the way till I was 16, 17. So I'm used to also going just veggies and it being like, it's okay. <laughs> I'm very particular about what veggies I'm eating, but I'm used to the veggie game. Very much that. Zoodles are yummy too. Okay. I'm here for it. Um, try gluten-free pasta. Most Italian spots have gluten-free options. Okay. Because I don't have a gluten intolerance. I just don't want the... There's like an agent. Maybe it is the gluten in itself that causes bloating. And that's my issue. I've always been a bloaty kind of guy. Like I eat things that make you just want to like, pfft, like, like all that kind of stuff. So I've been on the journey of no longer being the bloater <laughs> for me. And I hate it. I hate it. Wait a minute. All U.S. McDonald locations will serve Krispy Kreme by the end of 2026. Starting with the phased rollout later this year, McDonald's will sell Krispy Kreme donuts at every U.S. location by the end of 2026 with the original glazed chocolate ice with sprinkles and chocolate ice cream filled available. What? I don't like Krispy Kreme donuts. Are you serious? I wish it was Shipley's. <laughs> Oh, well, that's nice for people who like um, McDonald's. Okay. Yeah, the girls are, are boycotting McDonald's and Starbucks. Mind you, there was this post the other day I thought was pretty funny. Um, <laughs> they were like, oh, uh, certain Starbucks have removed all seating options because of the homeless issues that no one is willing to face. Like they were trying to make it all political. They're like, no, baby. They removed the seat options because they want you to just be in and out and make it very much a drive through kind of spot. So you're not just sitting there taking up time and space, this, that, and the other, or causing issues that may happen later. Like people calling the police on somebody for just being there working on something. They were starting to, they want you out. Come in here, get your shit, get out. <laughs> like, be real. <laughs> and I feel like they're going to do that with certain spots that are like like Starbucks, where it's going to be very, you no, know, come and get your shit and get out. Also, we just went through a pandem. You know what I mean? Like, we just went through that. So it would make a lot more sense, especially because we don't know if it's going to get worse. Someone was like, we're still in it. I'm like, low-key we are, because it's still a thing. Uh, but it's just now open. But let's say it gets worse. Like, wouldn't that make the most sense not to have seating available just like how it was during the peak of said situation where we would go to the restaurants and all the tables were put to the side? 
Fly Girl 402, I absolutely agree with you. I just can't say it because YouTube. Look it up. Look it up. But I agree with you. I would love to say it. They were definitely going to limit these ads. But I agree 100%. By the way, in case anybody didn't know that, I am very much on that side. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Very much there. <laughs> I don't want to talk about Wendy's because they're raising their prices up and I'm not understanding why exactly. Like Wendy's quality of food has actually gone down so much. Ooh, am I going to be critical of Wendy's today? Yep. The fries got better. The original fries I still love, but then you try to do this like redo of the fries and they tasted nasty for a second. The fries now are great. Great, great, great fries. Love them. Love them. The burgers do not taste the same. You may talk about your square patties. Something ain't, something ain't right. The burgers don't taste the same like they used to, man. I'm sorry. They used to be really, really good. Is it the seasoning, DW? Because something to me is always a little off. They also took off one of my favorite items on the menu, which was a grilled chicken sandwich. I don't understand why. And just kept the fried one on there. It's like, what? Um, and then I, like, one of my main reasons for liking Wendy's is because it was very much the big bag meal. Like, you could go there and spend, like, five sixty or six-something dollars, and you'd be set for life, right? You'd be, like, good to go. Like, you get your chicken sandwich. You get your little BLT or whatever. You get your, like, fry. You get your, like, juice or whatever you want to get. Ooh, wait. It's not just the fries that are the greatest thing there. They're lemonade. Go, Wendy's. Yeah, your lemonade and fries are king. I will take that sugar for that day just so I can have a large lemonade because, wow, it's so good. Um, so I would say those two in the combination are great. The strawberry is the best one, period. Mango's okay, but, like, the regular slaps a little harder, but the strawberry is like one of the most decadent experiences you'll ever have drinking a lemonade. It's like, what is this? Um, <laughs> in the absence of Wendy Williams, I love listening to you talk about food. It's such a cute part of your life. I'm, sorry. I'm a foodie. I love food, even though I'm very picky about it, but I'm like, it's my comfort. It's one of my comfort things while it being to some point of being obsessive about it. I just know that if I have the most amazing fries ever, I'm going to want to talk about it with you. And I want you to enjoy the experience of the same fries as me. <laughs> but yeah, the quality of food's gone down. Even the salads are gross. I had the ta I had the taco salad. That used to be one of my favorite ones they had. It was nasty when I ate it this last time. Then the Caesar salad, they don't have croutons anymore. They have these Parmesan crusted wafers. Because at one point, they stopped putting cheese on the Caesar salad, and it was just the wafers and the dressings. Like, what is this? Now they have the cheese there, but with the wafers that low-key are, it just feels like freeze-dried cheese. Doesn't taste good. So what are your type of fries? Oh, my God, how dare you? We're doing the fry conversation? Here we go. Waffle is in my top three. It is waffle, shoestring. Nope, top five. Let's go. Regular cut, waffle, shoestring, potato wedge, curly. Nope, new, nope, re reorder. <laughs> curly, waffle, regular, shoestring, potato wedge. Bam. Yep, there it is. Okay, there it is. There it is. There it is. Curly is king. <laughs> There we go. Curly is king. And that is one of the only reasons I will go to the Jack in the Box, baby. And I will get a big, big old, big old thing of curly fries. Yes. Rallies and checkers are great. I was referring to the style of fry, like the shape. <laughs> um, I wish that Chick-fil-A wasn't the devil because their waffle fries are really amazing. But also, like, you can just go to the grocery store and get your own waffle fries to work with and it'll just be just fine. But if actually the ones at uh, Costco or I should say Sam's club, I recommend those. Their waffle fries are everything. Like 
you're welcome. <laughs> Put them in the air fryer and be good. Add a little extra seasoning if you feel like it. Not necessary, but they're right with Jesus. That and those little potato, uh, those little chicken bites that they have too. One of the reasons why correctly you don't have to go. It's it's really Chick-fil-A is just pickled juiced fried chicken. If you're if we're really being honest here, if we're if we're calling it what it is, it's pickled juice fried chicken. And anytime you go to the grocery store and they say Southern fried chicken, just look for that pickle ingredient. It's going to taste just like Chick-fil-A. I can guarantee it, especially with the Sam's Club stuff I just talked about with the chicken bites. It tastes exactly like Chick-fil-A. So you don't have to like give them any money and you can literally just eat the same chicken. Pickle brine, correct. Exactly. So if you wanted to make it at home, it's very easy to do. That's why Chick-fil-A is so crazy to me because it's like, bitch, this is like a part of what we could dead ass do at home. Probably tastes even better. But that's all there. That's the difference. It's just prick, pickle brine. That's it. That's it. Isn't it funny that all the chicken places now have mac and cheese too? Ooh, also, can we admit now that the Popeye's chicken sandwich that was so popular has now become disgusting? The last one I had was absolutely nasty. Maybe it was that, maybe it was that Popeye's. I don't know. It was way too much mayonnaise. The pickles seem old. I bit into that motherfucker and I was like, what is this? What is this? <laughs> I did not like it. You like Boston Market mac and cheese? Okay, Rika, let me not be judgmental because I understand the appeal of Boston Market and I know it's also like, even for my diet, Boston Market's great. No. No. Mm -mm. Those spirals can go to hell. Are you crazy? No. What are they for? Whose child is this that's eating this kid's meal? Absolutely not. My mom, ooh, when she didn't feel like cooking. <laughs> Deborah. <laughs> oh my God. My mom would take, oh, I hated it. I used to be like, why, lady, why? She's like, it's because it's good for you and it's better than that other shit. So you're going to eat it, Matthew. But she would go to Boston Market. There would be certain like special places or fast food places my mom would go to to be like, uh, you know, let me get something healthy for the kids and whatever and like make sure that they're eating right. And she'd do Barston Market. And I, oh, I'd hate it so much. God, I hated it so much. I'd be happy when it was like KFC Day. Again, y'all need to remind yourselves I'm not talking about KFC like today. I'm talking about like KFC in the 90s because I, I was born 86. I feel so bad for this generation of, of youth that is growing up that did not get to experience food in the 90s. Baby. Early 2000s were okay. Like it was it was still some good stuff too, but like this new stuff is it's it, it's interesting out there. But like the 90s, oh my god, everything tasted so good. KFC used to be the best place to get your chicken. I will, I'd argue down. Popeyes took over later, but it used to be about KFC, girl. It used to be. The Pizza Huts where you could sit down, you will never understand. Even the new ones today do not give that same appeal. How dark it used to be when you'd walk in there. The smell of dough, the smell of cheese bubbling. You could see the uh, little game room for the arcade systems, honey. Remember how the lights used to be in there with the overhead hanging? For those of you who need a good reference, there if you watch E.T. in that scene where they're at the dinner table with D. Wallace and you see the overhanging like light, like I grew up in a house like that with those kind of those kind of lights. Okay. I, I'm back in the day. You know what I mean? So I miss restaurants like that where it was that like pub kind of like dimly lit sort of feel. Oh, it used to be so cool. Smelling like cigarettes too, because people could smoke in the Pizza Hut because it wasn't illegal to smoke in places yet oh i kind of miss the smell of cigarettes smoking food <laughs> ah, that is crazy there was always a smoking section it was like in the back like that was enough like oh we could just be in the non-smoking it's okay really girl like <laughs> like we're all getting secondhand smoke anywho <laughs> the windy sunroom you know they took those out isn't that crazy mary beth because okay for those of you who remember the old Wendy's, it's like a brick building and you'd walk in 
um, you'd always hear that dun 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 when you walk in there because it was either the door uh, ringing because they were letting you know that someone walked in or it was like something needs to be taken off, like whatever, right? You walk in and there's tables, like normal little fast food restaurant, but then there would be this archway of like glass that's like a sun area. And you could just sit in there and you could like, feel the warmth because it can be cold in the Wendy's and just enjoy your food while you're looking out and all that kind of shit. And they'd sometimes have like plants and stuff over there. I I remember this y'all. Like I was there for that baby. Let me tell you something. Yeah. Then McDonald's having the little play places. <sighs> disgusting. Um, disgusting. I, there were, I have horror stories about the play places. I've had my shoes stolen. I've had, a situation where I slid down a slide and some child's was like dead ass on the slide. And so me and several children had came out and we were all crying because our pants were ruined because we thought we did it to ourselves, but it was really somebody else's child who was literally back in the restaurant eating his food. Like, yes, like that shit was crazy. I'll never forget that. Oof, my mama was so mad. Ooh, she was so mad. She was like, if you knew he had to use the bathroom, why would you have let him go up in there and do all that? Well, I gave him five minutes. I had to go get the food. Da, da, da. I, oh, my mom was going in that day. Also, the other women that were there, too, because it wasn't just my mom barking, but it was like, baby, you, lady, lady. I am very happy to say that I almost never went to a Shoney's until, mm, I want to say, it's like after my mom's funeral, I believe is when uh, my first time going to a Shoney's and it was really weird to me because I was kind of like, what is this place? Like, and then also Golden Corral buffets and like Sizzlers, child. I don't know. There were days when you can go to places like that and you are fed and full and happy and nothing's gross. Or the Chinese buffets that don't have roaches, which is rare. No shade. It is rare. <laughs> it's rare. It's rare, girl. I hate, to, I hate to be the one. It's rare. I remember I was dating this guy um, in Alabama. We went to this uh, Chinese buffet, and it was disgusting. It was disgusting. The food was fucking awesome, though. The food was great, but, like, baby, you went in that bathroom, and there was, like, you could tell that they only clean it out with, like, a hose, and so the water hose was still in there. And I never, I couldn't get over it because the water, the floor was fully wet. So I was like, oh my God, they just sprayed it down. <laughs> I was like, I want to go use the other one so bad. <laughs> so funny. It's so funny. Okay. I Hey, I went to a Piccadilly's Joyce in Alabama, not Birmingham. I can't remember where specifically or was it Mississippi, but I've been to Piccadilly's too. That actually is a really good place. And I hate to say it, but it was, um, it was, you know, a lot of times when I go to these places to eat, it's like after a funeral for some family member or when the family's all getting together where we're like, we're going to go somewhere to eat. It's like you go to one of those kind of spots where it's like, all right, this pay for all of that. <laughs> and you got that one uncle, normally my dad, <laughs> who would like pay for like the majority of everybody's stuff or at least half of them. Oh, good times. I miss those moments because you always find out more about your family, unfortunately, through like passings and like like through death because then everybody starts to tell the stories because it's like, you know, you're with your family, with your blood. And now it's like, well, since they're gone, let's talk about that one time that they did this and this one time that that happened. Do you remember when this took place? And a lot of us don't. And so we're like, oh, what? Rika, the downfall of Denny's started with that value menu high key that was the downfall of denny's even now it's not that girl like i'll go to a denny's for one of the little melts sandwiches they have because they're pretty good and the uh what is it the moon over my hammy but i always get the ham taken out yes i have the order name <laughs> yes i know the order yes i have it sure do fuck you <laughs> Moo, it's it's mood over my hammy, but I tell them no ham, and then I substitute it for like turkey slices every time. Mm -hmm. They also have a similar breakfast sandwich like that at IHOP, and I do the exact same thing. Oh no 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 no! There's eggs in there. That's not just a grilled cheese. That's a breakfast sandwich. 
That is a breakfast sandwich. Once the eggs hit it, it is no longer a grilled cheese. It is a breakfast sandwich. Breakfast. Breakfast. <laughs> I don't like Denny's. I, oh, you're going to hate me. Waffles are better than pancakes. I hate pancakes. I really do. I hate them. Hate them, hate them, hate them, hate them. They're too, they're too starchy for me. I love a waffle. I love a waffle. Oh my God, waffles are king. You can like the the batter, like the, the maple, like gets into the little crevices of the waffle. So it's like pockets of like the syrup, the syrup. Um, or you can do like a whipped cream and a fruit number. Oh my God. <sighs> <laughs> oh my god <laughs> like waffles are i literally have a waffle iron over here like i am not playing like yeah <laughs> i love me some waffles baby mm -mm. crepes are an interesting journey when it comes to breakfast i don't know if i'm ever satisfied when i'm eating crepes but i've had had a really good cream cheese filled one with like strawberries, blueberries, and raspberries before. That was absolutely fabulous. But like, I only feel like crepes and desserts, but I want to do a savory crepe. And I feel like when I go to Miami, I'm going to have an option with a savory crepe and I'm nervous about it. Because hollandaise sauce can be a hit or miss with me. Sometimes I like it and sometimes I don't. Yeah, it's weird. Oh, oh no, Joyce, French toast is... I got to be real with you because I, I put waffles and pancakes in their own category, right? I love French toast. I love, I love French toast. Fucking love it. Love it, 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 love it. Especially with some brioche bread. Now, someone give you some other kind of bread, it's not French toast. I'm going to just say that right now. Except for the French toast that I've seen them, they, they do in Japan with that sort of bread that they have. There's like a, it looks like brioche, but it, feel, it looks like it's way fluffier. Oh, it looks so good. Oh, I love French toast. <laughs> so good. <laughs> I don't even put syrup on mine. That's how much I love the taste of how the toast feels, like with the egg batter and all that, with the cinnamon. It just does it for me every time. Oh, my, okay. So DW. There's a place called, um, it's called uh, Snooze out here in Houston. And they have a French toast that has mascarpone. Mascarpone that goes with it with strawberries. And it's this big brioche. The, like, the bread is like fluffy and big, but it's like mascarpone with like strawberries. And it's like really, oh, this it just, it is so good. I forget the name of it. I get it almost every time I go. I literally, like me and my friend Jeff, um, y'all know Jeff with a G. He's in the chat sometimes. He's also going on the trip with me. Like that is our thing to get. You know what I mean? Like that is legit the breakfast. Like I will get the three tacos with the hollandaise sauce because it's really good. It's really good. I will remember. <laughs> uh, I get it with the hollandaise sauce because it's like, the tacos are so good. You you just do not understand. Come on, y'all know snooze. I see you in the chat. It's good. <laughs> oh. Maddie about to have me eating breakfast for dinner tonight. I'm just saying, I love breakfast. I love food. <laughs> but brunch is king. This is why I love a good mimosa and some like really good breakfast food and like a drag show. Like God is good. Like that is a great day breakfast alcohol drag a little a little one two when you get home with your ganj it's a great day that is a good fucking day i'm telling you <laughs> i'm spent after that because if i do a brunch that means the rest of the day i'm chilling because we've been drinking it's day drinking oh no baby like we're, we're we're done for the day i'm not going out to nobody's club tonight who is taking a nap for what no nah, i'm in waiting for my sunday night tv <laughs> If you want to be in the bed with me for that Sunday night, you can, but like, <laughs> but I'm not going out. Mm -mm, that was my going out. Uh, whenever you come back to New York City, Jersey, we out to brunch. Please and thank you, because Crystal, I went to, and I think I posted it on my Instagram from a, a while ago, but I went to some sort of like rooftop garden that had, it was like a, it felt like a solarium. 
because it was like this rooftop garden out there in New York City my friends took me to. And I had for the first time like this dip that was egg yolk. Like it was like this runny egg situation and you would dip the bread in. And I'm normally not like a runny egg yolk kind of guy. Oh God, it was so good. It was like these giant pieces of bread that had been buttered to the capacity that were toasted. You could just dip it in this cracked egg shit. Oh my God. I was like, this, what is this? Is this how rich people eat? <laughs> I want to be wealthy. <laughs> that, that was me right after. I want to be wealthy. I can't. Also, getting a breakfast sandwich from a bodega in New York City is a must. Um, shout out to Alexander Rogers, who was like, okay, before you leave, you have to do that. And I definitely did get more than one breakfast sandwich. And yes, yes. I was in Harlem. I don't remember what, like, specifically what street I was on, but I was in Harlem. Because that's where I was, because Alex lived in Harlem at the time, and I was staying at Alex, so. Yeah. <laughs> I got lucky. He was kind of looking at me crazy when I didn't say bacon. He was like, huh? He goes, we have turkey bacon. I was like, oh. I was like, can you do that? He says, yeah, like, legit. He's like, you can go in the store and just pick stuff and we'll just put it in there. I was like, oh, I didn't know that. He's like, well, we have our own shit back here. He said, you're definitely not from New York. I was like, no, I'm not. But I was told this is what I'm supposed to do. He goes, no, you are correct. This is a very New York thing to do. Better than that, here's a cup of coffee. Didn't put shit in it. He was like, boom. He said, now you're a New Yorker. That was great. He was nice. <laughs> oh, of course. I am like, I definitely don't read as a New Yorker, bitch. I the way I sound, please. I was still getting hit on like crazy in New York. Shouts all find this out there. I was very thankful. And I enjoyed the accents too. I was very susceptible for, you know, lovins and New York. Because baby, every time someone spoke to me and I heard that little accent shout, I was like, ooh. I guess it's curtains for Maddie. <laughs> Gonna let me down a ditch, you hear me? Because <laughs> I was like, ooh. Love, love, love how New Yorkers talk. East Coast in general. Oh my God. I somehow made this a two-hour video where we stopped talking about hot topics after an hour and then we low-key talked about food for another hour. Did I talk about food for an hour? God, it's me. <laughs> Who says I'm not talented? Like, pff, please, I can hold a conversation about anything. Hello. <laughs> this is the song that never ends, and it goes on and on. My friends, some people started singing it, not knowing what it was, and then they can continue it forever just because. There we go. I used to watch uh, Lamb Chop all the time with Shirley. Mm -hmm. Something happened that ruined that memory, though. I forget there was some sort of like docu-series situation about Lamb Chop. I'm trying to remember what it was, but something bad happened. I can't remember. That donkey used to wear me out, though. I'm like, oh, why he look like that? There it is. It's the inflection. And they continue singing it forever just because. There it is. Then they continue singing it forever just because. There it is. There it is. I always mess that up because I forget that inflection. Forever. Just because. There it is. Lamb Chop is making a comeback. Who holding? Who got the hand up in there? Charlie Horse. Yeah, Charlie Horse used to wear me out. I'm like, girl, what is this? What is this? I can't. Uh, I am going to call this a wrap today, everybody. I am a little bit hungry. A little hungo. A little hungo. Kind of hungry. Um, and I appreciate y'all for tuning in and listening to me talk today. Am I tuning into the Challenge All-Stars 4? I'm going to wait until the season's done before I just watch. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to wait until it's over. Yeah, I, yeah, pretty much. I'm going to wait. <laughs> I need, I, I, I want to binge it through. I don't like having to wait per week and then being disappointed. I hated that with the traders. I think even with the traders next season, the only reason I'm going to be watching it like in real time is because I'm going to be reviewing it. So I have to, I can't binge it, but 
yeah, for All Stars four, with what I know, I'm like, girl, I'm 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 just gonna, yeah, I'm I'm, I'm just gonna binge watch that one. I'm gonna wait till it's done. Doing it and doing it and doing it well. <sighs> Thanks for tuning in. Love every single one of you. We talked about some hot topics today. Just as a reminder, this was for entertainment purposes only. And all of the information that I talked about today can be found on this said internet through via Google, Twitter, and other reliable news sources. Articles I spoke about today were from TMZ and IGN um, and all that good jazz, all reliable sources. But also in general, we talk about this not to spread around, but more to speak of it in sort of a entertaining fashion at the same time, get it out there and discuss it between ourselves. Make sure you love yourselves at the end of the day and give yourselves a big hug from me. I appreciate you for tuning in. If you wanted to drop a little bit of love in my jar, the PayPal, the cash app, the Venmo are scrolling across the screen. I did include it in the co in the description this time since someone was asking for a link. Uh, but again, all my love and all my appreciation to every single one of you. I will be back probably Thursday to do the edited review of UK versus the world and season 16. If you are a Patreon follower, get ready for the Cowboy Carter reaction on top of the season 16 and UK versus the world finale reaction. Of course, Saturday is season 16 live panel Sunday, Monday, UK versus the world live finale. That'll be our last finale. Uh, last live for UK versus the world. And then I will have the edited video out Wednesday, not Thursday, like I normally do. And then that Thursday, I will be on my vacation. <laughs> I'll be leaving you a special little message before I leave though. So make sure you tune in Thursday. While I'm on the plane, uh, on my way to Miami, because I will be posting a silly little video for you uh, to say, I'll be right back. You'll see. <laughs> I am definitely going to be tanned. Do you see how bright I am right now? This is the fluorescent beige, bitch. I'm black part of the song. Baby, I have not had sun for way too long. I actually have a vitamin D deficiency, which is why I've been so much more bright than I usually have been lately. So beyond, beyond all means, Miami better not, not even, nope, better be sending all the time I'm there. I will be literally outside as long, as much as possible. We have a pool for our Airbnb. I will be outside as much as possible. I'm coming back completely different. I, I know my doctor's gonna be like, the sugar's low and your vitamin D is up. What did you do? I went on a vacation. <laughs> okay. I went on a vac. What did you, I went on a vacation. <laughs> Cause I've showed y'all pictures before of me when I get a tan, baby. I look like, oh, uh, oh, they're like, who is that? Like, yes, that is literally Maddie with his hair. Like if I was actually getting sun but I don't. I'm always inside the house. I'm never not outside the house. And if I am outside the house, I'm in someone else's house or in a building. So <laughs> I have to go outside way more often. I really do. I, I very much need to. So this will be a good trip. Anyhow, love you down. Take care of yourselves. I'm going to see about that lasagna I thought about and also um, probably play some Pokemon TCG or play some Tekken 8 today. So if you're online and you want to swing at me, let me know. Bye, friend. Bye, everybody. Thank you for tuning in. I love you to bits. I will see you for the next one. Bye. That was terrible. Bye. Maybe. Yeah. Uh, uh. Listen. Yeah.